Welcome back, everybody, to Ready, Aim, Live. I'm Jose. And I'm Wes. And this week, doing a little bit of a piggybacking off of the self-defense video that we did not too long ago that our buddies Tyler and Chris went ahead and, you know, stepped in and gave, you know, a lot of opinions on. And this week, we're going to dive into a little bit of a different series, and it's going to entail more of the home defense that goes on. So, yeah, home defense, obviously, it's a big thing. Where do you spend most of your day? If you're not at work... You're not out with your family, you know, eating dinner somewhere. Where are you at? You're at home. What's good, bro? You don't know me. You don't... What is good? You don't know! You don't know me! And anything could happen while you're at home. So it's good to take these preventative measures. So we wanted to give you guys... A, it's a quick videos, you know, three series, three-step series on basic home defense things that everyone should have in their household and implemented and your whole family all of all together. Let's get some more points on that, you know? Yeah. So personally, you know, going into one of the first ones and one of the big ones to me that I've actually, you know, implemented recently is a pre-plan with your spouse or your roommate or somebody that you live with that if a home defense was to happen, that makes no fucking sense. You guys need to have some sort of idea or plan on what is going to entail if anything was to go wrong you know in a home invasion or anything a robbery anything like that because with my wife she knows how to shoot but i want her to know where the locations of the guns are i want her to feel comfortable with what her job is in that situation we discussed that her job is to care for the kids and i will go towards threat if necessary and that's more of our pre-plan. I know mm -hmm. there are people that have roommates, so maybe you have a designated spot for a firearm or weapon that you both agree on, that they know where that one is, but you know they don't know where all your guns are, mm -hmm. but maybe that one that you guys agree upon that if anything was to ever go wrong, they at least have something to protect themselves. You know, like, like you said, location. Location is the very big thing here. Location, location, location. <laughs> You know, yeah, you don't want to put your gun safe out in the living room so when everyone comes over to your house, they see where your gun safe is. Obviously, that's not smart. <clears throat> and I don't think most people would do that. But when you put these plans ahead and letting your, your family know, like, hey, like, if anything happens, like, this is where this could be. You know, I have, I have a gun on top of the dresser, you know, in the closet. Hey, there's one in the spare bedroom hidden away. You know, having certain... Uh, you know placing things in certain areas and make sure that everyone's on the same page with that especially in the household when you're doing that pre-plan now going off from location you know obviously you know what's one thing that most households I feel like have now animals dogs in general dogs are great for uh, alarm you know you can put those two together having alarms are dogs because uh, we already know dogs like to bark all throughout the night any little noise they hear they're great because if something does happen they can be the first to notify you in the household and i think that is a good reason for dogs um yes they're cute fluffy and adorable but they can also save you guys well it's also great to go into you know some of the other little security aspects that you can have you know we do have modern technology so you have a ring system you know for security cameras you know you could just have the basic security cameras you know set up around your house that would have you know monitoring at all times motion sensoring mm -hmm. so these are all things that you can implement to prevent an attack if you have a spotlight in your yard you know that can be something that would pop up if somebody's walking by or you know and deter them from wanting to proceed to your house or to mm -hmm. even get close at all you know uh, like you said with the lights motion detecting lights those are my yeah. favorite because they'll scare the hell out of somebody if they're walking up in the dark boom that light hits they're frightened <laughs> they're running off you, you, you didn't even have to get out of bed for that one but um that and there's one simple thing that anyone could do right now if you don't have it you can go to any home improvement store and get it is a deadbolt deadbolt your doors yes. You know, your main entrances, the main way you get in your house, deadbolt those. Those are the first places that they're going to go to. And, you know, if they go to the window, hopefully you do have an alarm system. And you, there's so many ways to counteract these things nowadays, you know, in the modern world. It's still going to happen. We still have criminals. But we have all the things that we need to prevent anything from happening to our own home. Well, and these are some of the, the topics that we think are the most important to really hit on and that we really want to you know, emphasize to everybody because making a pre-plan 
could potentially save your life if you know that there's a plan in place and you know where everyone's going to be it could save you and your family in the long run you know and personally i just think that it's such a great mindset to be in that Mm -hmm. you know no you don't want to think that something's going to happen but if it does happen the same reason that we carry you know concealed firearms is because we are trying to you know be prepared if something was to go wrong not because it is going to go wrong but just in Mm -hmm. case just like a lot of families have uh preparation plans if there's a fire you know just like schools if there's you know you do fire drills and stuff like that implementing these basic things you know just to get everyone on the same page with things maybe simulate something happening just like you at, at a school they'd simulate a lockdown so the kids know what to expect so you can turn all the lights out in the house and simulate something with your family something small like that just to make sure that everyone it knows what to do but the thing that also helps with that is the what we're going to talk about in part two with skills and okay. different things that take part in that so this will be part one make sure you stay tuned for part two so we get in the skills all right guys make sure you go comment like subscribe you know we have reels going up on instagram videos every friday and if you have not seen it yet it is on all of our social media platforms now we have a link tree up and available for you to click on. There's a bunch of different little links on there that go to our YouTube, our Facebook, our Instagram. If you don't wanna go searching around for everything, it's all right there, easy accessibility. There'll be some more actual um, links on there to different uh, other social media sites that we use, um, you know, besides the big ones. Um, And that link will actually be in the description below, just so everyone can go ahead and start checking that out now. Yeah. And remember, guys, 100% of home invasions happen at home. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, they do. And always remember, guys, who's who's got got your your six? six? All right. Ready? Yep. Welcome. Sorry. (laughs) A little faster. Five-hour penalty, false start. (laughs)